In this video we'll talk about the bonus exercise using the vanishing point filter on Photoshop. The objective of this exercise is to display uh, some text or an image along the walls or the floor or even the ceiling in an image. Maybe the uh, Wall Street sign uh, with uh, one of the other images. But we want to display the image as if it were a part of the scenery as if it had been directly painted on the wall and the ceiling the floor etc let's type some text and this is just uh, using the text tool and click to create a new text layer and type a word or message i'm just going to type the word graffiti select the text and uh, make it larger let me bring it up to 72 points i'll use a different font uh, something that will actually show up. I'll use the impact. And I'll change the color to red. I'm going to press Ctrl T to make this uh, text larger. I'm pressing the shift, making it pretty big. Double click to accept. And since we're going to take this text out of the uh, graphic mode, First of all, let's make a copy of this text. I'm going to make sure that the text layer is active. I'm going to go to the hamburger icon and uh, duplicate this layer. I'll just use it as a copy. I'm going to turn off the original one so that we don't mess with it. And I'm going to right click now on my copy and rasterize the type. What's happened is that our original layer is a text layer. You can tell by the T. This copy that we just rasterized is now a graphic basically shows us the same thing as we had before except that if we double click on it we can't edit it. It gives us a filter option. I'm going to press Control A. You could also use the select button to select all. And then cut the image. I'll use either Control X or Edit Cut. While I'm still in this blank layer I'll go to the filter menu and select Vanishing Point. We could have started here creating the plane. Um, doesn't matter if you create the text first or the plane later. The plane that we're going to create will stay here for the remainder of the life of your document. Let's find the uh, top left corner of this wall. And I'm clicking and uh, letting go of the mouse. And now my pointer is floating. I'm going to go all the way to the end of the wall. Click here at the very end and the top and then click at the bottom right corner. What we're trying to do is to build a uh, four-sided plane, basically a square or rectangle that represents the angle that we want to use. Coming back, clicking, I've selected now a rectangle that shows me a grid and this is where our text or any other images that we bring along will be displayed. Now you're not limited to just this one wall. By finding the bottom anchor of this image, I can press the control key and hold it. I'm going to then click on the anchor and drag it out. You can see it's dragging out along the floor. I'll leave it right about there. I'm going to go back to this plane, click on one of the edges to select it. I could keep on drawing by pressing control and click and drag up. You see I now selected just that little edge there. I'm going to click and drag up from here now. This is not the best room to do that but it's definitely a good start. I'm going to now click control hold control and drag up to get the final wall. So now we have this imaginary plane of 3D built in our image. And since we had already cut the text and have it in memory, I'm going to press Control V to paste. There's my graffiti text. I'm going to click, hold the button and drag. And you'll see then that it's going to be represented into the new planes that we've created. You can keep on creating more text and bring it into this plane. You can create new planes for the ceiling. You can find additional pictures and bring them into this image. Pressing Control T to uh, do a free transform, bringing it down, and I'm just going to leave that right here.
I'll click OK and I'll come back to my original image. And now my layer graffiti copy has the information from the plane. I can always go back to the filter, click on vanishing point, and bring in new elements into the grid. Just keep in mind that once you make the changes, they are set. But since we made a copy of the original graffiti, we can always go back to graffiti, duplicate that layer again, use a copy tool, and as long as we rasterize it, we can uh, always control A, control X, and bring it back into the vanishing point plane. 